Hi, and welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is going to be a quick news and updates video, as they always are. There's just two announcements, and one of them has to do with a change to the channel, so stick around for that. The first thing I wanted to mention, though, is that from May 1st to 3rd, 2019, you're invited to be part of a live studio audience for a new TV show that's recording all about board games. Now, this is in Los Angeles. The tickets are free. It's family-friendly. Anyone's invited except for children under 12, just simply due to the length of the recording session. The show is called Above Board, and it's being created by a number of entertainment industry professionals who just also happen to have an interest in board games. And I said earlier this is going to be a TV show, but I don't know if it'll be on TV or on one of the larger streaming platforms like Netflix and Hulu and that sort of thing. That hasn't been officially announced yet, but that's what they're aiming for, and I think this has a real shot of making it. Uh, and if so, this is going to be a big deal, I think, for the hobby, because they are approaching this to create a fun and funny, entertaining presentation of the hobby so that if you're not in the hobby, there's something here for you to enjoy and have a laugh at. But if you're into the hobby, you're going to understand things on an even deeper level. And I want to make clear, when I say there's things to sort of have a laugh at, they're walking a line of celebrating the hobby and having fun with it not making fun of it. And I think we've all seen sometimes when the larger entertainment industry focuses in on geek or nerd culture, they tend to go with the tack of making fun of it and finding the humor in that way. And that's not what these people are doing. Again, these are all people who are very into the hobby and see it as an opportunity to celebrate and bring it to even more people. And that's pretty exciting. So May 1st to 3rd are these live taping sessions. On May 3rd, I'm actually going to be there because coincidentally, I'm going to be in Los Angeles. And I did record a pre-recorded segment with them They'll be doing some live things during these tapings and also, I think, airing some of the pre-recorded things. I don't know if they'll be doing that on the third when I'm there. Maybe. That'd be kind of neat to see it with a, with a live audience. But if you decide to go, maybe I'll see you there. I think Chaz Marler's going to be there. I think Tom Vassell's going to be there as well. So check the link in the description of this video. There's a link to take you to where you can register for free. And maybe I'll see you there. Okay, the other announcement that I wanted to share with you is that a couple of months ago, I had to let Pep go from the channel. Some of you know, of course, that Pep was working with me. He was actually an employee of, of Watch It Played. And this year, as I took stock of how much more travel I was going to be doing, and I've increased the travel that I'm doing this year compared to previous ones, and then looked at the time that I would have for recording videos, I realized I was not going to be able to give him enough work for the money that I was paying. So it was sort of a practical thing. Now, all of this increased travel that I'm doing hopefully is not going to really impact the number of videos that you see releasing on the channel. In fact, I think I've actually managed to continue to put out even more videos this year than previous years, despite all of the additional travel. But I've had to focus more on the tutorial videos than on the gameplay videos. And for tutorials, I don't need Pep as much as I do when I need him on screen with me when we're doing the gameplays. So knowing I was going to be doing less of those, this just became a necessary adjustment. And it was an amicable separation, if we want to call it that. Pep was a total and complete class act about it, and I think quite understanding. And it doesn't mean that Pep won't appear on the show again as a guest, but some of the things that we used to do together, I may be finding new ways to do uh, just on my own as I adjust to this new normal again. I mean, look, for the vast majority of the channel's life, uh, I have been sort of growing and adapting and figuring out how to adjust to a number of different changes as they happen. You know, I started the show with my kids, then my kids screw up, and then Pep came in, and now Pep's going. And this year is gonna be a year of change for me. I have said yes to a lot of invitations to go to different places, and I'm doing that almost as an experiment to see, this is gonna sound a little bizarre, but to see where my breaking point is. How much can I take on and not feel like I'm sacrificing the core and the heart of Watch It Played and the content that I create for that. So far, it's been a couple of months now, and I feel like I'm still maintaining that balance, and I feel pretty good about it. But as I've always done with you guys, uh, I try to have sort of a half year every six months, kind of check in and do a little status on the channel, see how things are going, see what you guys are thinking, see how I'm feeling about things, and we'll do that again, uh, probably around June or July, and just kind of check in and see how does everyone feel, how do I feel, and just kind of, again, update you on, on where things are going. Now, this does mean that there'll be fewer gameplays, but if you want to see more gameplays with me, well, I've recorded a bunch with the BGG team, the Board Game Geek team, over on their channel for the show Game Night. And two of those have already aired, one for Raise Arcana, and another one for Lighthouse Run. 
And I'll put links to both of those in the description below, but if you subscribe to that channel, there's even more videos they'll be releasing with gameplays, with me teaching and playing games with a variety of different people. So if you do miss our gameplay content, don't worry, there's more on the way. And actually when I'm in Los Angeles next week, I'm gonna be recording uh, another gameplay with them there as well. So, you know, we're finding different ways to adjust and adapt, as I said, as things change and grow here. And look, uh, change is always a scary when you're dealing with your livelihood and a viewing audience, because obviously, as I make adjustments and changes along the way, I want the majority of you at least to approve and agree with and, and join me as, as things continue. And I look over the last eight years and I feel very thankful that as I've had to make adjustments and changes to the channel along the way, I believe the majority of you have felt that we've retained the original spirit and drive and momentum and sort of the positive direction that we're trying to take this channel in. And I just hope that continues to be the case. And I just, at this point, I just kind of have to put my trust in you that, um, that you're putting your trust in me in that regard. And I also just, let me just say this quickly as well. I want to thank Pep for all of the work that he did with me on the channel over the last couple of years. Uh, I try not to talk about the work aspects of the channel and what that involves, but make no mistake about it, it is work. He was doing a job and he did that job very well and it was very helpful to me and I really, I really appreciate it and uh, I hope he knows that. And listen, if you've got something nice you'd like to say about Pep and his time here on the channel, please feel free to put in the comments below so we can see those. I think that'd be, be really nice. Uh, I will mention one other thing. I said there's two announcements. Let me mention a third thing. This shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> Curds, deal with it. This is modeled after another shirt from another YouTube channel called Dragon's Tomb, another tutorial instructional channel that teaches games um, differently, uh, let's say that, than how I, look, here's how I look at it. You know, when you're looking at review channels, they say don't just watch one review, you should watch a collection of them and then try to like collect the best ideas and form your own opinion from that. You can look at Dragon's Tomb and watch it played in the same light. You know, you could watch our tutorial for Carcassonne, you could watch his tutorial for Carcassonne and then decide which of us is teaching the rules correctly. Um, you know, I'll put a link in the description of this video to uh, his Carcassonne videos, so you know what I'm talking about, but you should check out his channel. And I, I asked if I could make a shirt modeled after his shirt with a slight modification. And we did talk about maybe offering these shirts uh, for sale. I don't know if people have an interest in that or not. If you would, if you think you might, then please let me know in the comments below. We can kind of gauge interest and then we might, might pursue that if, if there is an interest in picking up some shirts like these. This is currently uh, my favorite board gaming related shirt, so I, I like it quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there you go. Three announcements, a bonus announcement in there, and I think we'll leave it there. So until the next episode, thanks for watching.